Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make sweetened condensed milk frosting. I don't know about you, but I love sweetened condensed milk. It is so good. Today, I'm gonna show you how to turn a can of this into frosting. I'll go over both a white frosting as well as a chocolate frosting, and it is delicious. All you need is three simple ingredients. You'll need a can of chilled sweetened condensed milk, some softened butter, and vanilla extract. For the vanilla frosting, the can of sweetened condensed milk needs to be refrigerated overnight before you try and make this. So make sure you pop it in the fridge the day before you want to make this frosting. To start, we're gonna whip one cup of softened butter until it's nice and fluffy. You wanna whip it for a solid two minutes until it's smooth and shiny. Then it's time to pour in a 14 ounce can of chilled sweetened condensed milk. You'll wanna scrape the sides and bottom to make sure you get all of it. And then of course, I never let any sweetened condensed milk go to waste. Then pour in half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then we're gonna whip this up. After about two minutes of whipping on high, you should end up with a nice, thick, fluffy frosting. Pretty neat trick, huh? Just three ingredients and you have a delicious sweetened condensed milk frosting. You can transfer this to a piping bag and pipe it on some cupcakes or frost it with a knife. So that's our vanilla frosting, but what if you wanna make chocolate? I have a separate method for that. For a chocolate sweetened condensed milk frosting, you need one can of sweetened condensed milk and this does not need to be chilled. You'll also need two ounces of baking chocolate and some vanilla extract once again. We're gonna start by giving the chocolate a rough chop so that it'll be easier to melt because we're gonna make this on the stove top. Transfer all of that to a small saucepan and then pour in your 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. And of course, make sure you get it all out. Hold off on the vanilla extract for now and we're gonna head on over to the stove. And we're gonna get this heating over medium heat. I'm gonna switch my rubber spatula to a little bigger one and you wanna stir this constantly while the chocolate melts into the sweetened condensed milk. You can see that the chocolate melts super fast as the sweetened condensed milk heats up. Once the chocolate is all melted, you wanna continue cooking this for about five to seven minutes. It'll thicken as it cooks. After just a couple of minutes of cooking, you can see it's already starting to thicken up. But you wanna keep going. Don't worry if it looks like it's a little lumpy. Just keep scraping the sides and bottom so none of it burns. You'll end up with a nice, thick frosting. Then we're gonna remove this from the heat, and then we're gonna pour in our half teaspoon of vanilla extract and stir this in. Now you wanna let this cool completely before using it as a frosting. And lucky for you, I've already made one and it is all cooled off. And you can see this frosting is nice and thick. And there you have it, vanilla sweetened condensed milk frosting and chocolate. You are going to love this and I am ready to frost some cupcakes. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.